I'm going to show you how to create a 100% completely free link and bio website. And by the end of the video, we're going to have something that looks like this. Now, don't you worry. I'm going to show you how to customize pretty much everything that you see here. And in order to do this, we're going to use something called Gravatar, which is probably the original link and bio web hosting service. They were founded back in 2007. And I promised you a tutorial, so let's get right on into it. Get yourself over to gravatar.com. And what we're gonna do here is click on the get started now button. And let's go ahead and create our profile. So first of all, go ahead and enter your email address and enter the verification code that they sent you. Click continue. And now because wordpress.com owns gravatar.com, there's a tight integration between the two. And this is just asking if you want to make the association between the two accounts. And I guess the benefit there is uh, whenever you're working with WordPress, you can pull in your information from gravatar instantly. So you don't have to re-enter that information every time. So go ahead and click on approve. And finally, here is our Gravatar dashboard where we can start customizing our profile. So basically, I'm going to take you through everything here on the left hand side, everything from design about avatars all the way down to photos and a couple other things in addition to that, including your account settings. So let's start up here at the very top with design. And then let's start off with background. So here you can change the color of this background pretty straightforward. You could do the solid color or a gradient. I'm going to do a gradient with my brand's color. So on the left here, I'll pick this color. And on the right, I'll pick a lighter blue like this. And then it's pretty cool. You can change the gradient angle. So I think I like mine at the very top, like a zero degrees. Okay, that looks good. You do also have the option to upload a background image. Uh, we're not going to do that here, but just so you know, that's an option. And then after you're making changes in any one of these sub menus, you do have to come down here and click on the save changes button. So we'll do that. All right. And we'll go back to the main menu here or the design menu, I should say. Um, you can add a header that has to be something that's 1280 by 288. Uh, I'm not going to do that in the tutorial, but again, just so you know, that option is here. And now as far as the layout, you can customize the order here. So you have your links, uh, photos, verified account and interests. I think I'm going to move my photos to the end and that looks good. So we'll save those changes. We'll back on out buttons and links. Uh, you can change the color of the buttons if you're not happy with the default here. So you can make them red if that's your brand's colors. I'm going to make mine more of a, a dark blue and then save those changes and hit back. And then finally, this card option here. So basically, uh, in addition to having your own URL at gravidark.com, you can embed this on other websites. And we're not there yet. We haven't really customized our uh, Gravatar profile yet, but you can toggle the your header image, excuse me, your header image, your contact button, and send money button. Uh, but those are disabled because we haven't done any of those yet. So. We'll back on out of here and go to the main menu. And now let's in the about section, start customizing some of this information. So our display name, I'm just going to put my name, Tony and about me. I'll say I teach web technology and you can do a pronunciation pronouns locations. I won't do any of that. I will put for my job title, YouTuber and my company organization, Tony teaches tech. So I'll save those changes and then go back to the main menu. Now avatars, we'll click on there. Uh, we don't have an image yet, so let's go ahead and upload them. You can use your camera too. I do have one already on my desktop here, so we'll upload that and center it a little bit, but otherwise that looks good. I'll click on done. All right, there you go. There's our profile image. So we'll back on out of there. And now there's I guess two different types of links that are associated with a Gravatar. So you have your verified accounts, which is where you'll actually go through that services API login. Uh, so they know that you're actually the owner of that account. And then there's also just links, right? So links to your website or another website. Um, I'll show you each one of these. Uh, so we'll do a verified account first, just to show you the difference. Uh, let's go ahead and connect my GitHub account to my Gravatar. So we'll click on connect GitHub. And as you would probably guess, you have to log in with that information via the uh, GitHub API. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. And here's the point where we're going to authorize Gravatar to interact with our GitHub account. And I was wrong earlier. Um, 
WordPress.com technically does not own Gravatar. It's the parent company Automatic that owns both WordPress.com and Gravatar. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and authorize Automatic to access our GitHub account. And right away, you'll see here that we have our first verified account to GitHub, github.com slash Tony Flow. And it has that blue check box, meaning that it is a verified account. Now, you could do that again for other um, accounts like uh, your LinkedIn account or your TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Uh, I won't bore you with that, but I will show you what the difference between a verified account and a, just a plain old link is. So um, back here, uh, I, I have a YouTube channel, as you know, you're watching it. Um, there is no option to connect Gravatar with YouTube at this point. So that will unfortunately have to be a, a plain old link. And let's go ahead and add that. So we'll add a link. The URL is going to be youtube.com slash Tony Teaches Tech. So I'll copy that and paste that in. And I'll say for the title, uh, we'll do YouTube channel and then description. This is where I teach web tech. So we'll add that. And there's our first link to the YouTube channel. This is where I teach web tech. Just for the heck of it, we'll add another link here to my website and we'll just say for this one website and I'll say this is where I blog about web tech and we'll add that. So now I have two links to pretty much you could go anywhere on the Internet here and then one verified account. We'll go back here and the next section is interests. Now, uh, you could they have a whole database of different interests here. Uh, what What's something I like Python, the programming language. I like uh, WordPress. And what else do I like? I like web hosting, stuff like that. So you can go through here and add your interests and show them on your public profile or not. If you want to get rid of that whole section completely, you can toggle it off. I'll leave that on here for now and we'll go back to the main menu. Now, as far as contact information, you can provide emails, phone numbers, um, contact form, calendar even. Uh, for the contact form option, this is what I usually like to do. So actually on my website, I do have a contact form. So I could just take a link to that contact form and put it here on my Gravatar. So that way when people do want to click the contact button, it'll take them right over to my contact page. And if you don't want a contact button on your Gravatar, you can simply toggle that off and that button will go away. But I'm going to keep mine, so I'll toggle that back on and we'll go back to the main menu. Now, the wallet section here, um, if you do want to accept money on your Gravatar account, which is kind of a cool feature. I've never used it myself, but you can add your Gravatar to your Google wallet or your, your mobile wallet, I should say, because it does work with Android, too. Um, you could put that in here, but uh, I'm not going to have that on my profile. So in order to get rid of that money, send money, you can just disable that and go back to the main menu. And then finally, we have photos. If you did want to upload uh, photos directly to your Gravatar, you can do that here. Um, I don't really need that on my profile here, so I'm just going to disable that completely, which it's already not showing up. So that's fine. And we'll go back to the main menu. Now, the last few things I want to show you are down here in account settings. So uh, general information, like it says here, it's not shown in your public profile page. So it's optional to fill this out. Uh, I'm just going to put Tony here in my time zone. And I'll pick New York. And then for the profile URL, uh, right now they just assigned me this random one here. You can change that. So I'll change that to something more custom. And I already do have a profile that I use at Tony Teaches Tech. So it's going to say that already exists. So instead of that, we'll do Tony Likes Tech. Oh, that, that already exists. Uh, let's pick something else. There you go. Okay, so we'll change the profile URL to that and we'll confirm the URL. Now, I'm not sure why that just logged me out, but let's go ahead and log back in. Okay, we're logged back in and we have our new profile URL, Tony Teaches Tech 2. So let's go ahead and click on that and see what our live profile looks like. Okay, and there you have it. We have our Gravatar profile. Uh, we have our profile picture at the top, our verified icons here, and they're actually links. Um, the share button, which uh, I alluded to earlier, uh, you can scan this with a, a camera app on your mobile phone. You can add it to your Apple wallet for exchange of money with somebody maybe that you just met or you don't, or maybe that you already know and you want to uh, pay them for something. Um, so you can do that. Contact, that takes me out to my contact form on my website. 
uh, our two links and then our verified accounts and interests. Now you might have already noticed down here at the bottom that there are a bunch of Gravatar links and unfortunately this is not removable. Uh, this is, we'll just call it a watermark. It is what you get for having free web hosting, a free link and bio service like this. Um, that in addition to the fact that uh, you cannot customize your domain name unless you do buy it through wordpress.com. You're stuck with the gravatar.com slash your username. Now, uh, early in the video, I mentioned that there is a, uh, a better link and bio service that I wanted to tell you about uh, that doesn't have these limitations, and that is called Elementor. So Elementor has a link and bio service associated with it. And I'm just going to walk you through that real quick. Here's some examples of other people's link and bio. What makes Elementor a better option? It is a paid option, but a better option than something like Gravatar is the fact that you have uh, a bunch of different configurations, aka widgets to choose from, and they have 60 pre-built templates. And the best part is it is something that starts at just $2.99 a month for the first year. It does come with a free domain name for the first year. As you can see right here, uh, that's a $19 value, up to a $19 value for that. And you get uh, a bunch of storage, a bunch of bandwidth, some backups, and some more premium features here. So I wanted to make you aware of this um, option. Elementor is the sponsor of this video, so check out my link down below if you want to get started with Elementor. Thank you, Elementor, for sponsoring this video.